Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 1.4. Um, that's too loud. I'm um, balancing nuclear reactions, nuclear reactions, alpha, beta, gamma. Um, oh, I got rid of those. I'm sorry. I thought I deleted it from those things. And the band of stability. Nuclear reactions. Two conditions must be met to balance a nuclear equation. The conservation of the mass number, that's the top number. And conservation of the nuclear charge, that's the bottom number. So, for example, if I have thorium-232 and it turns into radium-228 and an alpha particle, notice how 228 plus 4 equals 232. 88 plus 2 equals 90. And then we have a weird thing. This right here is a beta particle, and we'll learn about those in a minute. But if I have thorium-231 over 90 and it turns into thorium-231 over 91 and a beta particle, 0 plus 231 equals 231. 91 minus 1 is 90. Woo! So here I could also have uranium-238 gains an alpha particle. So that'd be 242, right? 242. So this is 239, and then this 3 right here means I have three of these. So that would be 242. All right? And then 92 plus 2 is 94. 94 and 0 is 94. Alpha decay. So there are three types of decay. Alpha decay is the first type. Alpha decay looks like this guy right here. And it is a helium nucleus. Relative to all the other ones, it's big, it's heavy, and it's positive. So it's like that happy cheerleader that's at the bottom of the pyramid. Skin can block it. So it's so big that it cannot get through your skin. However, it's dangerous to soft tissue. So if someone shoots it in your pupils of your eyes or the soft skin in your mouth, then it's, it causes damage. Polonium-209 undergoes alpha decay. So that's Po-209-84 undergoes alpha. Alpha is 4 over 2, and it can be an alpha particle like this, HE, or alpha 4 over 2. There's a number of ways to do it. And what's the other thing? Well, 209 equals 4 plus something. Hey, that's 205. And 84 equals 2 plus something. That's 82. I go to my periodic table, and I look to see what number 82 is. And number 82 is lead. Beta decay. We saw a picture of it before. Beta emission often looks like this, or it looks like this. That's supposed to be a 0, not a 6. A ra Whoa, look at the crazy line. Um, a radioactive nucleus that undergoes beta decay has a neutron converted into a proton and an electron. Then it spits out the electron. So if I have a neutron, right, I would have, whoops, I have a mass of 1. And if I turn into a proton, a proton has a mass of 1. And it's got a 1 down there. It's got 1 proton. This one's 0 protons. And then an electron. An electron has no mass and no charge. So when it spits out this electron, the effect is this is negative 1. So all you need to know is that's what beta is. That's the important stuff. For example, tritium, a radioactive isotope of hydrogen, undergoes beta decay. Tritium, if you recall, is this. And if it does beta decay, it's 0, negative 1, E, plus mass is still 3. 3 plus 0 is 3. And if this is negative 1, that means 2 minus 1 is 1, so it's helium. Okay. Beta decay is higher energy, but it can be blocked by a sheet of plastic or metal. Gamma emission. Um, gamma is usually shown with the zeros here. Whoops, I'm going to make my zeros better. So it has no mass and no protons. Um, nucleus is too high of energy and releases energy. The energy is massless, and so is gamma. Hey, it has no mass. Not much of a change for our purposes. It is chargeless and high energy. It takes feet of lead, like several thickness things. You could say meters, perhaps. Oh. Cerium-141 undergoes gamma radiation. Now, gamma always comes with beta, but that's okay. Cerium-141, oh, I need to see what the atomic number of cerium is. Do, 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 do. I can't find cerium. I can't find cerium. There it is, number 58. And if I undergoes gamma, gamma is 0, 0, and guess what I get? The exact same thing, cerium-141. 58. There's no noticeable change, but it has less energy. I think of it like a belch. After a belch, you're still the same person, but you perhaps feel better. A disgusting analogy, but there you go. Band of stability. Atoms are stable with the right ratio of protons to neutrons. This is a graph of N is neutrons and Z is protons. 
if you're on this band, called the band of stability, you're stable. Okay, so if you're on that little blue guy right there, that line does nothing at all. Okay, um, atoms do different types of decay to get back on the band of stability. An isotope with a high neutron to pro proton ratio is proton deficient. So that means it would be up here, high neutron to proton ratio. To convert neutrons to protons, it undergoes beta decay. So that means this is my beta zone. Elements with atomic number greater than 83 undergo, I should say, alpha decay to lower both protons and neutrons. So, whoops, went the wrong way. So this right here, boop, is my alpha zone. Gamma cannot be predicted due to the neutron-proton ratio. Well, so sad. Review. Know all the types of a radiation symbol, charge, and birthing method. You don't actually need to know the birthing method. A one-to-one -one proton to neutron ratio up to calcium. Oh, uh, I get rid of that one. Over 83 is radioactive, so they are disappearing. So these atoms are actually going away. Where do these disappearing atoms come from? Where do they come from? The Big Bang and not the TV show, the one that says toodles, toodles.